Hello, I'm Luke O'Neill and here I am in my lab in the Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute. So this week on my COVID-19 update, dogs are back in the news. Now we've known for quite a few months that dogs can sniff out COVID-19 and dogs have a fantastic sense of smell, much more powerful than our sense of smell as a human. And a while ago they trained dogs to smell COVID-19 and now a big study in France confirms this. Very accurate testing of people who are positive for COVID-19. They take samples from the armpits of people, that sounds a bit interesting, it's the sweat actually is what the dog is sniffing. And there was a 97% accuracy rate for detecting someone who's positive. They we're also very good at telling if you were negative. Now, one worry we have with antigen testing is a false negative rate's quite high. Dogs were much better than the antigen test. In other words, if the dog said you were positive, you were high likely to be positive. If you were negative, you were high likely to be negative. And a really good success right there. Now, what does this mean? Well, in Finland and the United Arab Emirates and several countries are now deploying dogs in airports to sniff people as they go by and detect if someone is positive or negative. This should come to Ireland, where we love dogs in Ireland and, we, and dogs are fantastic friends to us. So who knows, we may see dogs in airports all over the world testing to see if people are positive or negative for COVID-19. And one question we've had for quite a while now is if you have cancer or if you've had a transplant, say, are you at a higher risk of catching COVID and developing severe disease? And there were some hints maybe that would be the case because if you have cancer, you're obviously quite sick anyway. Well, good news. Big study shows if you have those diseases and you catch COVID, it doesn't mean you're at higher risk of developing severe disease, which is fantastic. It must mean that the immune system is still pretty active, even if you've had a transplantation or you've, you're suffering cancer and can eliminate the virus. So good news there for people suffering from those diseases. It's unlikely you will be in a high risk group to develop severe disease. And you can hear about these stories and more on my weekly COVID-19 update with Pakeni on Newstalk.